In this video, I'm gonna share with you a new Etsy hack that my wife shared with me the other day that she actually found by accident. Now, she came to me with a new product idea, which she does quite often, and she said, Scott, this product, we gotta start selling because, well, it sold 28 yesterday alone. And I said, wait, hold on a minute. Do you mean there's 20 added to the cart? And she said, no, I added the product to my cart and then it showed me how many sold yesterday. And I said, wait a minute, show me what you did. So she showed me and she was right. I verified what she did and it actually worked. Now, if you wanna see sales for the month or even for the year, you're gonna use a tool like Everbee. That's what I use. And I go deeper into the sales history, which I'll show you that a little bit later. But to see yesterday's sales reported by Etsy is something I've never heard anyone talk about. And it's pretty sweet because this is actually coming from Etsy. This is a cool little hack that anyone can use and it's 100% free. Let me show you an example of how this works. So let's say that I was going to be looking at Halloween shirts for women. What I'm gonna do is like I always do is I'm gonna go into the search bar and I'm gonna put Halloween shirts for women. And then from there, I'm gonna see what comes up. Well, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to look at, yes, these are ads. I'm gonna look at the organic ones, the ones that are showing up right here. So what I'm gonna do is click on this one right here. We can see right here, 20 plus people have it in their cart. Now this is one thing that anyone can do. This has been known for a long time that if you see that, there's a good chance it's probably selling well. But check out this. This is the hack that I'm talking about right here that I didn't even know existed. I'm gonna go in here like I'm going to order this and I'm gonna go right here, sweatshirt, dark gray. And then I'm gonna go into size, I'm gonna go large and then I'm going to add it to the cart. Then you might see something like this that says you're only 51 cents away from getting free shipping from this shop. So another way that Etsy is trying to increase sales for you, which is pretty awesome. But let's just go to cart. And then you see this. 28 sold in the past 24 hours. Now, why is Etsy doing this? Well, they're doing it because you might see this now at checkout and go, wow, I'm not the only one that likes this. A lot of people like this. And that will generally increase conversions because now it's not just like one person bought it, a whole bunch of people bought it. But as Etsy sellers, we can use this to our advantage. And we can say, wow, Etsy is telling us how many sold yesterday. Now they're not giving us sales data that is from the day before that or the last month. They're not giving us any of that stuff. If we wanna see that, we are going to need to use a tool like Everbee. Let me show you what that looks like. Now, if you're not using Everbee, I would definitely encourage you to use it. It is free up to 10 searches per month, but you can get the growth plan, which I'm on, which gives us access to a lot of data and a lot of searches. If you're interested, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the description. I'll also put it up here on the screen and you can go ahead and give it a try. But here's how it works. So right now I have Everbee installed and I can go right here and just click on product analytics or I can go analyze this listing. So I'm going to go right here. And now what it's doing is it's giving me all of this data. Well, you might be saying, well, Scott estimated sales here says 12 per month. It sold more than that yesterday. And you're right. This hasn't caught up yet and it will. But what I look at is right here, the total sales 484. And then I look at the listing age. The other thing that I like to look at is the favorites. This is how many people have raised their hand that really like this item. And then the other thing I look at is the views 27,568. And then the conversion rate, it's converting at a 1.76%, which is really good. And then the other thing I get to see is all of the tags that they're using to drive sales. Now, if you're not using Everbee, which I encourage everyone to use it if you are serious about your Etsy business, but just look at the sales from the day before will give you a good idea if this item is actually selling. Let's look at another example here. How about Halloween nurse shirt? So I can go here to the most loved if I want to, or I can scroll down here, I can look at the ads. And the other thing that you might wanna do is look at people that are running ads and see how well they're doing by seeing how many sold yesterday. Let's actually do that. Let's look at this one right here and let's see if it's even selling. Maybe. Maybe some sold yesterday, maybe they haven't. Let's go ahead and look. Now you can see here, there's only eight in the cart, which is still good, but it's not 20 plus in the cart. But let's go ahead and do this little hack here. Let's say a large, and then let's go into a color. We'll go dark heather, and then let's add it to the cart. Now it doesn't say that nine sold yesterday. It just says nine people have this in their cart. So this isn't telling us that something sold yesterday. It's telling us that people are interested in it. So this is great because we can say, well, it hasn't sold yesterday, but people are interested in it. 
But let's go ahead and look at one of these here. Let's go ahead and look at this one. Well, this one here has 20 plus in the cart. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and select the size. Let's do the same thing. We'll go large. We're going to go shirt black. And then let's go ahead and add it to the cart. Well, you can see here, Etsy's doing a good job of trying to upsell us. So you can see related items you might like, and it's wanting me to add these, but I'm just going to go ahead and view cart and check out. Three sold in the past 24 hours. So check that out. Three sold. So this also tells me that even if a low amount have sold, it's still going to give us that number. So maybe there's a threshold of something around three sold that'll show that before it shows how many are in the cart. So that's something else that I didn't realize, but maybe that is happening as well. But the cool thing is, is we are seeing three sold in the past 24 hours. Now, one thing you could do is you could come back to this listing every 24 hours and see how many sold. That would take a lot of time. That's why I like to use Everbee because it's gonna give me a collection of the sales over a period of time. So let's go ahead and look at this one in Everbee and let's see what the history looks like on this actual shirt. So I'm gonna analyze the listing and we can see here it averages 54 monthly sales. It's had 1,378 sales, but that's in 24 months. So that's two years old. So we would wanna divide that by two and come up with that number, which is over 650 sales in a year for Halloween. Not too bad. So again, looking at this, favorites, 2,241. Uh, right here, the views is 52,997, and the average conversion rate is a little bit higher than that last one we looked at, and it's 2.6%. And then I'm gonna look down here at the keywords. This is something else that Everbee gives us, which is super helpful. Well, seeing that we're having a lot of fun here, let's go ahead and do one more and see what this one here is, which is in the number one position of most love. So it's in 20 plus people's carts. Let's go ahead and select black let's go ahead and select the size and then let's go ahead and add it to the cart you can see here you're only ten dollars and sixty cents away from getting free shipping we don't care we're going to go to cart and nine sold in the past 24 hours so just because something is in the number one position doesn't mean it's the best selling product i think that's what we've learned here but nine per day is still pretty good so that's really awesome. Let's go ahead and see what this looks like in Everbee. And wow, 486 estimated monthly sales and 6,803 total sales. And it's been listed for 14 months. So just over a year. So this one here clearly is a great seller, even though right now it has only sold nine in the last 24 hours. So this is why you want to look at that first, look and see how many sold in the last 24 hours, but then you want to drill deeper using a tool like Everbee, because on the surface, it might've looked like, well, it only sold nine yesterday. That's good, but it's not fantastic. But if you look at these numbers, you know, as we get closer to Halloween, these numbers are going to start to tick up because it's got history and it's done very well. And check that out. 42,295 favorites and 396,032 views. That's pretty crazy. Now, let me just say, learning how to do product research is a skill that every Etsy seller needs to learn and master. But the truth is most struggle with it and that's why I shot this video right here that walks you through my exact process for mastering product research fast. Watch that video next and I'll see you there.